Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul video, and this is from the Goodwill from last week. I don't know. Somehow I didn't film this. I don't know. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. It's early. It's not even 9 a.m. yet here in New York State. I'm still having my second cup of coffee, but y'all, I've got a ton of stuff to do today. It's my day off, and I have to motor. So we're going to get right into this thrift haul. I will tell you I spent $90. I can't locate my receipt at the moment. I had to look at it in my bank account to see what I spent. And I also had a couple casualties in this haul, thanks to one or two of my cats. I have my stuff on the floor in the living room after I unwrap everything. I leave it on the floor so I could just bring it over here to the table. Well, they must have been fighting or chasing each other, and I'll show you what they broke. Luckily, the one item I can repair, but... Nonetheless, another repaired item. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, guys, let's get into it. You like my, my Maxine mug? Yes. Join me for a hot flash today. I'm sure I'll have one during this haul. All right. I will start with, um, I, these are so cute. I absolutely love these. These are party light. And these are these adorable little tea light holders. Perfect for fall. We have two in orange. And we've got one in yellow. And these would look really cute like on the coffee table, you know, with some tea lights in them. You know me, I love party light. I just can't help myself. All right. And then I got these. These are very cool. Look at these candle holders. So they have color added to them. And then they have all of these kind of like a moriage look um, with little jewels in the center of each design and also around here. Now, I waited for these to go on sale because as you all know, Goodwill is infamous for selling something that's clearly a set and they price them individually, which really burns my biscuits, okay? And they say, well, if somebody only wants one, well, too bad. You don't break up a set, okay? I just think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. They're just wanting to make more money. More money, more money, more money. So I waited for them to go on sale before I would purchase them. Rant ended. <laughs> You know me, I have no filter. I don't care. I say it like it is. All right. Oh, let me show you this thing that's at my feet so I don't forget it. This, oh, here's a piece of glass from my mishap. I'll show you in a minute. Look at this awesome suitcase. It's, it's wood and it's actually a chalkboard on the front. Look at it. Love this piece. I am going to paint over this chalkboard stuff. And I'm either going to <clears throat> decoupage something on here or do a transfer on here. And I'm going to paint the suitcase as well, I think. Um, look at the, I mean, look at the, the hinges and everything. This is a fantastic item. This would make a great decorative piece. Um, actually, you could, if you wanted to, add legs 
to this, to the bottom and make it into a table, like a side table. Oh my God, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I, however, don't have the tools to, you know, you know, I don't have saws or any of that stuff to attempt to do anything like that. So uh, I won't be doing it. <laughs> okay. Um, also, if my friend Deanna, Deanna Church, if you're watching your ceramic Christmas tree, I had to put a different bulb in there because I couldn't find my other bulbs, my replacement bulbs. Um, but I found the one that belongs in your Christmas tree. So I will, um, next time you purchase something, I'll put this in with your, with your order. Okay, just wanted to let you know that. I had to put a little round um, replacement bulb in there and it looks stupid. So I'm glad I found the correct one. You know, I'm, I'm very anal about stuff like that. So yeah, it was on the floor amongst all of the stuff. <laughs> okay, I got this. This cute little fairy lamp for outside. I do have a little flicker fake candle in there, but you can't really see it good. But I thought this was absolutely adorable. I had to pick it up. It's got little bumblebees on there and dragonflies, ladybugs, flowers. Absolutely adorable. This would look fantastic. Um, outside on a table. Um, I just love it. Or you could keep it inside too. But So I did pick this up. I got to clean it up because it's really dirty. Take that candle out. That did no justice for it. All right. I'm sorry, my face is right in the camera. Okay, then I got this awesome piece. You know how I am with Christmas and especially stuff that lights up and is animated and the whole nine yards. Okay. How cute is this? Oh, I love it. This is just awesome, and this would look fantastic in any village. Fiber optic. Oh, my word. You know I had to pick this up, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's a plug-in one. But you could also put batteries in it, too, if you want to. There is a battery compartment in the bottom. It probably takes like three double A batteries. So I had to pick this up. This was just awesome. And then I got this. I love this. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this fantastic? Oh, you could hang this up on a shepherd's hook outside. Oh, I love it. Turn it around this way. And I will include a brand new um, uh, pedestal candle with this. Not a pedestal candle. What do you call it? Um, oh, Lord, you know what I mean. It's not a taper candle. It's the other big fat candles. Oh, boy, I think I need more coffee. Got to tighten up these um, these nuts on the side that are holding the handle. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, pillar. Ding, ding, ding. Pillar handle. 
pedestal candle. <laughs> I should just hook up an IV, I think. <laughs> okay. Then I got these. I know you saw them in my uh, my shop along video. We got this one. And we got this one. Now this would just be, you could either hang it on the wall or you could put it on a shelf and lean it because it doesn't have a stand on the back. These are very cute. Um, all right, so we got those cute pictures. Those are beautiful shelf sitters. Um, then I got, let me do these back here. I got this and I thought it was kind of cute, but my I was gonna redo this, but if somebody would like it like it is, just let me know. But I was gonna take out, take these letters off and put something on the front. Um, maybe something Halloween-ish, I'm really not sure. But I just thought it was a really cool um, rustic sign. So I did pick that up. And I picked this up, this galvanized envelope wall pocket. And um, I was going to do something with this as well. But if someone likes it the way it is, just let me know. As soon as you see this haul video, let me know. So I got that. Um, I also got these, um, these are Bistol Vintage Halloween Decorations. Oh my goodness, look at those. Oh, I love them. Love them. Um, so there is a barcode on here, so... I was trying to see if there was a date on here anywhere. So I know they're they're not 1960s, but and then I got this one as well. This is a centerpiece, and I want to show you what it looks like, but I got to take the price tag off of it because it's right in the center. Oh, you can't see, but anyways, let's see if I can get it off a little bit more. How cool is that? Oh my God, it's got bats and pumpkins. That's awesome. So I picked those up, love those. And I got this adorable little bunny. How cute is she? Look at her, she's got her little bloomers underneath she's adorable she's got on her little um oh what do they call it a pinafore I it needs to be washed because there is some like spotting on there but the rest of her is perfectly clean and beautiful She's a cutie patootie. And then I got these. Um, I got these for giveaways, guys. Look how pretty these little tote bags are. I got this one. I got this one. And this one. Aren't those pretty? Oh, I love them. So those are gonna be little giveaway items. All right, back to the table. And my coffee. Okay, let me show you what my cats did. So I bought this amazing mid-century modern Pilsner glass. Look at, 
OMG, this was such an awesome glass. I am so damn mad. I was going to keep this for myself. Now it's going in the garbage. So when they knocked that over, it knocked into this amazing planter. I do have all the pieces to glue it back on. You know, I mean, what the hell? And she is, um, hold on guys. She has a paper label on the bottom. Shafford, Shafford, Japan. Yeah, see, here's all the pieces. Oh my word. I was fit to be tied. Fit to be tied. All right. So those were the two uh, casualties. Okay, then I bought this. Now, mind you, they had all of this taped together. So it was hard for me to tell. I thought I was getting a beautiful candy jar, but in essence, it is a candy jar with no lid. And this piece goes just like this. Not exactly sure what this is for. I don't know if you put butter pats in there or, you know, I have no idea. But there it is. And now I have a candy jar with no lid. I'm hoping that I can find a plain one, you know, and maybe swap lids at some point. So. So there's that. Then I found this gorgeous Fenton hobnail ruffled bowl. Oh, there's another piece of glass that fell out. And it is in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Then I found this. This is actually restaurant wear, you guys. I've never seen restaurant wear like this. It's Buffalo China. Look. It's got strawberries on it. How cute is that? What a great decor piece. Oh, my word. I love it. Mm. Now, this next piece, I have never seen purple. And this is Spode. Um, it's called Mayflower. Look at that plate. Now, I recently had that beautiful purple and white creamer. It's almost the same color purple. Um, I have never seen purple. And this is gorgeous. There is the spode. Now, you can see it has crazing. This is an old piece. And it is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And then, then I found this piece. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love all of this detailing. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. You know me with my damn plates. <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't. They're just works of art as far as I'm concerned. Put that over there. Okay, so now 
I have just a few more items. These I could not pass up, guys. So let me just tell you that originally there would have been a fourth one of these and a, a, a hot cocoa pot. Um, but all I found were these three snowman hot chocolate cups with lids. We've got green. We've got like a gold color. And blue. I know it looks black, but it's blue. Now there is a little, um, little tiny boo-boo right there. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. But I can touch that up with some blue uh, watercolors. Um, these are adorable, uh, not to mention to use for hot chocolate and to keep it hot. Um, they would be uh, really cute for um, decoration as well. So I got all three of them. I, I love them. I think they're awesome. Um, they do have crazing. And they are made by Temptations, which is a really good brand. Um, yes, Temptations. And these are 24 ounce. 24 ounce. Love those. All right. Now, for my last two items. Hold on a second. I'm tangled. There we go. I have my phone on, on the charger, so. All right. I got this. Um, this really nice uh, solid wood mail holder. Um, I think that this is beautiful just the way it is. Uh, but if nobody wants it like this, I've seen videos where they turn these into charging stations for your cell phones. They like, um, they drill a hole in the side for the cord and you just set your phone inside the pockets. Um, I did, I was, I did think about doing that or I was going to upcycle it and dress it up a little bit. So, um, I just, I couldn't pass this up. It's in such beautiful condition. It's a really, really nice, um, solid piece. And the last one I got, and oh my word, for my mushroom lovers out there, y'all are going to go bonkers over this. Let me move these out of the way so I don't knock them. Um, this is <laughs> a mail holder and a key holder. Look at this piece. Isn't this fabulous? Oh my goodness. I know my girl, dear Angela's vintage is probably losing her mind right now. And Kelly Blanchard, cause she loves mushrooms. I mean, this is in fantastic condition guys. Isn't that awesome? Oh my word. I couldn't grab this quick enough. I'm like, Ooh, look at it's mushrooms. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yep. So that is my thrift haul, guys. 90 bucks. Not too bad, I don't think. Um, you know, back in the day, it probably would have been about $50. But, you know, I, I do the best I can. So that's going to do it for this video today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. Also, don't forget to leave me some comments below and subscribe if you are not already part of my crazy little family here. And if you wouldn't mind, share my video with people that you know enjoy uh, thrifting, you know, a haul videos, shop alongs, crafts, the whole nine yards. Uh, that would be great. It helps get my my YouTube channel out there. And so guys, until next time, I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.